Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of the Motherland Experience. It's your girl Nye here, and today I have an amazing couple in store for you guys. I'm gonna be sitting down and chatting with Mr. Landon and Miss Lisa, as they're gonna be describing their wonderful journey here to the motherland, them repatriating here only three months ago. You heard it right, three months. As we're gonna be talking about their amazing experiences, their journey, and just overall wonderness of Ghana. So please, let's go meet them. I am so excited about this interview. This is the coolest, dopest couple around. I'm just <laughs> loving them already. So please help me welcome Miss Lisa <laughs> and Hi. Mr. Landon hello, to the hello. show. Hello, hello. How are you guys? Doing yeah, good, good, doing good. Oh, well, thank you so much for coming on the channel. I am absolutely honored. Thank you for some, having us. Some of you guys may know this couple <laughs> because they are secret YouTubers themselves. <laughs> Tried to keep that from me. Yeah, I didn't even know. So some of you guys may even know them. So please, can you tell our lovely viewers where you guys are from for those that don't know? Um, we're actually from the States, Texas, to be, uh, to be exact, uh, Dallas, Texas. So, um, in short, that's pretty much <laughs> Dallas, Texas. Okay, so yeah. Dallas, Texas, mm -hmm. all my Dallas, Texas lovers in the house. It's so interesting. I've got family in Texas. Do you? Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, I'm from California and the people from Texas, they just mosey right up. Nice, Cali, so nice. I have a soft spot in my heart for Texas. Yeah, Texas is cool. So how long have you guys been here in Ghana? So we've been here like three months. Three months. Wow. It went by so fast. Yeah. Three months. Three months. We've been here three months. Wow. So you guys are newbies. We are. Yes. We we are. We are. We're migrating pretty well mm -hmm. and we're loving it. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> so please, can you tell us like, why did you choose Ghana out of all the countries here on the continent? Why Ghana for you guys? <laughs> well, I, I'll start by saying this. Uh, it, it kind of happened. Um, we took our African ancestry DNA, uh, um, test kits mm -hmm. um, back in 2020, mm -hmm. something like that. And so we both found out what part of Africa we both came from. Mm -hmm. um, I came from Togo, um, mm -hmm. or my, what is it? <clears throat> what is it called? Patrick Clan. Patrick Clan uh, DNA came from uh, Togo, the airway people oh. in Togo. And my wife came back. Ghana. Ghana. Wow, you're Via kidding. Contract. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh my gosh. So yes. you have Evan mm -hmm. and you're a con. Yes. Wow. <laughs> How awesome is that, guys? So you kind of have like a connection to Ghana ancestry. We yes. do. Mm -hmm. We do. We wow. do. And we felt it. We felt mm. the calling um, mm -hmm. to come and the urgency to come. And so the Most High just kind of guided us here to mm -hmm. Ghana. And so it's been working out really well. We've had to pivot a couple times and that's mm -hmm. okay. Um, yeah. But it's been wonderful. Yeah. It's been it's been super awesome. Wow, yes. wow. So how <laughs> did you guys feel the minute you stepped off the plane knowing oh that you have this ancestry here? Mm -hmm. How did you guys feel? Describe that emotion. Well, for me, to be honest, and I, and I, and I expressed this to my wife, I didn't even feel like we moved to another continent. Um, mm -hmm. Everything felt so familiar, familiar mm -hmm. for the most part. You know, even though we were both born and lived in the States all our lives, <clears throat> this feels like it doesn't feel like another continent, even another country. Yeah, It's just for us, it's home. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It's very familiar. Yeah. It's, it's it really, really familiar. Is from the eating of some of the dishes with your mm -hmm. hands to mm -hmm. hanging your clothes on the line. Yes. We did all of that. <laughs> hanging your clothes on yes, the line. We did, <laughs> we did all of that in mm -hmm. my household when we were younger. So mm -hmm. it's, it just feels very familiar. And so it's just really a good feeling to be here, living right. here on living, the continent. I think in our families, mm -hmm. um, we're the first mm -hmm. to come back. Wow. We're the first to come back. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is so yes. awesome. So yes. how did like your friends and family, how did they <laughs> feel and how did they take it when you guys like, I'm moving, I'm going to the motherland. How was it for you then? Um, for me, for the most part, um, a little surprised, but but not. You know, mm -hmm. I've, I've, I've been the one to kind of venture off. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> um, 
I joined the military at a young age. So I've been to quite a few different countries um, in the past. So mm -hmm. for me, it wasn't something that surprised my family. It's like, oh, okay, he's going to another country. Right, you're obviously adventurous <laughs> yes, one, right? Yes, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and so it was really just like, oh, really? Wow, you know, and then mm -hmm. we would get into the conversation about where we were going mm -hmm. and, and, mm -hmm. and things of that nature and things that we had kind of looked up or learned mm -hmm. uh, when we realized we were coming to Ghana. You know, we just started doing a lot of research about Ghana, mm -hmm. about the country, about the culture, about a little bit of everything. And so we could sit and talk to our families to let them know we, you know, we we had got familiar with certain things and, right. and still learning, but mm -hmm. they were excited for the most part. Yeah. They were excited. Yeah. They said yeah. they were excited. They were excited. Uh, all very supportive, surprised, mm -hmm. yeah. full of questions, of course, right? Uh, because of what the West uh, portrays mm -hmm. Africa yes. and so and if you haven't researched yourself then you believe those things we did mm -hmm. you know until we start mm -hmm. uh, researching on our own so they had a lot of questions mm -hmm. uh, now I think they're really happy for us not that they weren't happy before but I think that they see that we've integrated uh, really well mm -hmm. we're thriving mm -hmm. we're doing well and uh, and they're very excited and and some are even speaking of visiting oh yes. wow so I would say you guys are maybe like the forerunners for your yeah. family and friends <laughs> we've heard that a couple yeah. times yeah yes. yeah yes. so I would say that's kind of like yeah. your your I guess your purpose yes you yeah. know absolutely saying, forerunners for your family and even other people absolutely as well so how would you say that you like you know Ghana how have you been ingratiating into like the culture the vibe the people mm -hmm. you know how's that been for you <laughs> uh, it, it's it's been really interesting it's, it's actually been fun like every everyone that we met here has been very welcoming very nice mm -hmm. um, much more so that you would see in the states yeah you know when it comes to to uh you know how nice people generally are here yeah um, mm -hmm. but it's been really good like i said there are a lot of places that we want to go visit that we talked about visiting within the first month but um uh, still hadn't gotten around to some of that mm -hmm. but it's still in the plans um but we both you know really really enjoy it you know so much so you know when we we talk to family i tell them i'm I'm not coming back. <laughs> We're like, I'm not, he's not going back, guys. No. He's done. Yeah, he's done. done. Yeah, so. He's done. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's been really good, though. Really mm -hmm. good. So, oh, that's yeah. really awesome. So I know you guys have been traveling to a brief botanical garden yes. and hitting up some spots. Yes. So what has been your favorite spot thus far here in Ghana? So far, I mean, we have yet to go to a lot of the places we want to go, but the, uh, the Abri Botanical Gardens was absolutely amazing. Yeah. It was so, <laughs> so pretty. Um, and the, the just the age of the trees, like I never mm. knew trees could live that long. I know, <laughs> I, right? I had no idea, <laughs> but they, it was just so beautiful up there. Mm. And it's just like, it's my favorite place to go thus far. It's mm -hmm. just because even the drive up into the mountains yeah. is just amazing. Oh, it's breathtaking. It is. Yeah. It really, really <laughs> is. And so, so far, mm -hmm. that's like my favorite place. But we've yet so many pl places to go. Like we still want to go to the Volta region and mm -hmm. the Volta Lake and things right. like that and yeah. see the waterfalls. Mm -hmm. and, and so I'm sure there'll be a do favorite when we get to do that. But yeah. so far, the Abri Botanical Gardens is, mm -hmm. is the favorite That's for your me. favorite place. Yes. So would you concur? Yeah, I, I think so. Like I said, I'm um, still looking forward to go to the beach. You know, I'm mm -hmm. yeah. originally from Florida. So oh, okay. I like being around the water. So yeah, um, yeah looking forward to that. Yeah. Mm. You know, so we'll see. Yeah, like I said, right now, the Aburi Botanical, uh, Botanical Gardens is, is number one, but mm -hmm. we still have a lot to see. So Right. Because yeah. you guys, you know, just been here three months. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. Ghana is big. It, yes. it really it's is. Huge. Ghana is huge. Yes. So there's so much more to see, yes, so much more to explore, mm -hmm. you know. So with all of this being said, you know, with um, with you guys being here for just three months, have you faced any challenges while being here? You know, major challenges, mm -hmm. I wouldn't say so. Like I said, we've had to pivot a couple of times, but mm -hmm. I, I don't consider those challenges. It's mm -hmm. just something we had to do. When we right. first got here, uh, we had an apartment. It was um, a really nice place for a soft landing. Mm -hmm. But then we decided, you know, once we started driving and moving around, mm -hmm. we thought, oh, we really like to kind of be over on this area. So we've right. had to pivot in that mm -hmm. area. We've had to pivot with the purchase of land mm -hmm. a couple of times. And mm -hmm. so I still don't see those things as challenges because mm -hmm. uh, it really wasn't hard to do. It's just that, oh, that's not working out. Let's do this. Let's just pivot yeah. to another yeah. area. Yeah, let's just pivot to another area. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so uh, no major challenges. I, I don't think. What about you, babe? No, no major challenges. Um, you know, like I say, just the, uh, 
the pivots that we've had to make since we've been here. Mm -hmm. um, nothing major, nothing yeah. I would consider a major <laughs> drawback or anything. Drawback right. or issue, no. you know, mm -hmm. like say maybe the blackouts, still nothing major, uh, power mm -hmm. outages, things like that. Um, but no, these are just things that you kind of have to in <clears throat> integrate yourself to and, and, and it becomes a normal mm -hmm. thing. So no, I, I haven't, I don't think we've encountered any major issues yeah. major challenges. thus far, no. Okay, well that's, that's a blessing. It really <laughs> it is. is. That's a huge <laughs> blessing. So what has Ghana, I guess saying, taught you about you, even as mm. you guys as a couple moving in agreement, coming here to Ghana, what has it taught you about you guys as a couple? I would say as a couple, it's probably taught us to even more than we did in the States to really lean into each other. Mm. Uh, yeah, we're all we have here. Mm -hmm. right. You know, when we were, I mean, we've met some friends, of course, mm -hmm. but when it comes to this relationship, we are all we have. And so uh, we really need to check in with each other. If things are going well. Uh, we talk about it. We have mm -hmm. to we have to stay connected and check in with each other. And so um, I felt like we were tight in the States, mm -hmm. but now like when you move i move <laughs> right it's like y'all was in the states and yes. since we say thick as things yes. you know just now getting stronger it's when you move i move so mm. um Aww. yes yes oh yeah. that's beautiful yeah. it's my best friend yeah, that's, yeah. And, and we've said that before she mm -hmm. like she says i'm her best friend and she's mine mm -hmm. so um i think that makes things easier um you know anywhere you go whether it's, it's here or the states mm -hmm. um you know, my wife is my best friend, so it makes mm -hmm. things easier. It's it's so much easier to and just enjoy life yes. in general. So, um, yeah. Oh, I'm getting like teared up, guys. Like couples goals, okay? <laughs> just total couples goals. I love it. I love it. Yeah. So, as I said before, you guys have a YouTube channel yourself. We do, I've we heard do. some yes. stuff about you guys. <laughs> And it was so funny, your experience with the police. Ah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Was that like a major like culture shock for you? Well, we had heard <laughs> things, uh, we had heard things like this uh, happening to other people. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like I say, the funniest thing was the night before this actually happened, a friend of mm -hmm. mine called me and asked me, you know, hey, he had, you know, he had seen uh, the X Facts. Uh, mm -hmm. What are they? Tony, Tony and Ayo. Yeah, watch that video. And, and they Shout had out to you guys. Yes, yes. And they had that experience and got it. He asked me had I had anything like that. I was like, no, nah, I haven't had anything. Mm. And the very next morning, uh oh, uh, we had to go out and, and, and get a couple things. Um, and like I said, we were just riding, and <laughs> allegedly, mm. I ran a red light. Um, okay, allegedly, allegedly. allegedly. <laughs> You know, not saying it can't happen or it didn't happen, but I don't recall running the red light. But either way, mm -hmm. I ran a red light, and, and yeah, uh, we got pulled over. But 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 the the, the officers they were very nice, mm -hmm. smiling the, the entire time. They asked questions of where we came from. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it was it was a general conversation. Mm -hmm. um, you so, like mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so you know, so unlike something like that happening in the states right so um yeah it, it was it was a a pleasant conversation hell you know being hell yeah mm -hmm. and um <laughs> yeah um it came out that and he was like um do you understand and i was like yeah i do and i appreciate you know i said uh, thank you did you really understand landon at first i i, I thought i did <laughs> you like you got it huh? i did at, at first Just i thought i did and mm -hmm. he was like no i don't think you understand oh gosh <laughs> and then at that point i was like yeah babe i think uh yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. A little bit. Yes. Just a little bit. It's yes. Christmas. It's almost Christmas. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. It's almost Christmas. Just a little yeah. present. <laughs> Just a little present. <laughs> yeah. So, so that happened. Mm -hmm. Like I say, it, you know, it, I, I guess these things happen here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, but so much, I would rather deal with that anytime. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Than exactly. What we normally deal with in the state so yeah, yeah it's a, yeah. i will say that's a real refreshing thing about yes. dealing yes. with the police there of course you know you yeah. may yeah. have to pay yeah. or something yeah. but it's good with walking away with your yes, life absolutely. Exactly. as a black we'll person we'll take it we'll exactly. take it said, i'll take it we'll any take day. it not, any day. not, not <laughs> having to worry about that yeah it was a like it, it's a it was a big change absolutely mm -hmm. refreshing like say 
But, you so know. we'll just keep something in the dash. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's just a little, little <laughs> dash. Something in the just dash. in case something yeah, happens. Just something in the yeah. dash. You know, but it's, it's all good. Yes. It really is. But I really appreciate you guys' spirit coming here, mm. you know, and your unction to help, yeah. you know, because I, that's what I admire about you. You know, you guys are trying to help other people coming over here. So can you please share kind of your mission and your goal of helping other diasporans making the transition to Ghana? Yeah. Yes. One of the things we wanted to do was pay it forward. Mm -hmm. When we got here, we had assistance with the transition. Mm -hmm. We were in the States and I talked to you a little bit about them earlier. Yes. Kimberly and Maxwell Mensa. Yes. yes. Shout out to you yes. guys. <laughs> I'm familiar with you. So shout out to you. <laughs> yes. When we first got here, even from the States, they mm -hmm. helped us secure an apartment. They helped us to have uh, things like our ACs. Mm -hmm. um, mounted for us prior to getting here. So they did what they could do to make our landing very soft and the oh, transition wow. very soft. And so when we got here, uh, we kind of fell into doing the same thing for other people. And it's exactly what we wanted to do. Mm -hmm. um, That's how we wanted to be used by the Most High. Yes. Uh, we wanted to be able to pay it forward and um, that's what we've been able to do with like four families so far. Wow. And so it's been a, it's been a really blessing. So one of the things we see on our channel when it comes to this, if you want to come home and get in your bed, you can do that. If, if you want to leave the States, come to Ghana, get in your bed, mm -hmm. you can do that. We'll help you do that. Oh, we'll wow. help you do that. That's beautiful. Yeah, we'll secure an apartment for you. We'll buy your uh, appliances, mm -hmm. have it all set up, put your bed together. You can literally come and get in your bed. Wow. Yes. Wow. I kind of yes. sense like a relocation business. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> so you guys are kind of moseying on into that. I can kind of see. We yeah. are, we mm -hmm. are. And, and um, we're getting in a little bit into, we've had a couple reach out to us about some project management mm -hmm. for projects that they'll be starting in January. So we're looking forward to that. Oh, exciting. Yes. It is really mm -hmm. exciting. It's really exciting. Um, it's really wonderful to be able to provide what the Mensa's provided for us. Like mm -hmm. when you're coming from the States to Ghana and you don't know anybody, yeah. you have to, you need someone you can trust. You do. You do. And you so my do. husband and I were discussing it the other morning how blessed we feel to have people to trust us mm -hmm. with their means, their resources, right, you know, because right. you have to to be able to secure an apartment for someone to, mm -hmm. to completely set it up. You have to be able to trust somebody with your financial resources. Mm -hmm. And so to have people put that type of trust in us, we don't take it lightly no. at no, all. Of course. We don't we don't course. take it lightly at all. Mm -hmm. In fact, when we first started talking about it, I was really nervous about doing it because mm -hmm. I understand giving your resources and I didn't want to fumble at all in any kind of way. And no, so, but the most high opened up a door and was able to show us that yes you can do this you can you can do this in fact i i need you to do this for our people so wow it's a blessing that's, that's a blessing and it's it a is. big mantle you know being i guess a commissioned by the most mm -hmm. high to help and that's actually what we're supposed to do yes because we are the forerunners mm -hmm. coming here from the stage yes you know listening got that voice from the most yes. high yeah. to yes. come mm -hmm. yes and that's really what you're doing so yes. the most is going to reward you guys for it and i know you're not doing doing it no, for that no. just doing it just to just to help yes. you know to genuinely help mm -hmm. so kind of with your experiences what advice would you give to people coming from the west that are looking to come here and if you you know any experiences you've been through what would you have done differently okay that's something i gotta think about uh, <laughs> so i gotta think about it again <laughs> um what would i do differently um <laughs> wow. mm. Knocked you off of the road. I would tell people the advice I would give people who mm -hmm. are wanting to come from the West to the is to leave your Western mentality yes. in the yes. West. Like leave mm -hmm. it there. You'll be less stressed out. Mm -hmm. um, understand that things are different here in Ghana. Yes, they're different <laughs> here in Ghana. It, they're wonderful. I mean, mm -hmm. it, for us. Um, and babe, tell me if you agree, it's taught us to slow down a little bit, like yeah. just slow down. Like mm -hmm. everything is not mm -hmm. like this and I can be like this all the time. Right. Um, but it's taught us to slow down. It's mm -hmm. taught us to patience because you're mm -hmm. going to need patience. Patience. Yes. Guys. It's taught us uh, patience. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and here's another thing we're learning, uh, learn how to use a screwdriver, learn how to <laughs> learn how to fix some stuff. Yes. Learn how to fix some things. That's a biggie. Yes. Could you say that one more time? Please? Learn how to fix some things. Mm -hmm. Learn how to fix some things because um, it will dig into your pockets. If we're being honest, mm -hmm. every time you have someone come to your home to fix something, 
it will dig into your pocket. So learn how to fix some things, uh, learn some patience, um, prepare financially as much as possible, mm -hmm. speak to some people here on the continent who has made the transition uh, to see what they've done, to see how you can uh, do the same or, mm -hmm. or just however you want to do it, but make some connections with some people who's already done it. Right. Yeah. Right. That's mm -hmm. really important, you know, because <clears throat> that could really help you. Yes. You know, with your transition and mm -hmm. with your journey. Yes. You know, coming here, like mm -hmm. you said, patience. patience. Patience is key. <laughs> that is something I'm still trying to learn myself. Yes. Being able to patience. <laughs> yes. You know, and just really kind of taking it slow. Yeah. You know, taking yeah. things slow, taking it one day at a time. Yeah. You know, you, the most has got you. He does. It's okay. Mm -hmm. It is fine. Mm -hmm. You know, so even with that, you guys are landowners. Am I correct? We are. Yes, we, we are. are. Yes. yes. Okay. okay. So tell we us are. a little bit about that. <laughs> okay. So we, um, we actually, to be honest, saw your video. Uh, really? We did. Yeah. Um, okay. The one you did with Jasmine. The one you did with Jasmine. Oh. Mm -hmm. Shout yes. out to Jasmine. <laughs> and you were advertising, you mm -hmm. know, uh, land in, um, what's it called? Abri. Abri. Yeah, in Abri. Mm -hmm. And honestly, uh, like I said, about the year before we got here, when we, when we started looking at videos about Ghana, mm -hmm. Abri interested me <laughs> a lot. You know, mm -hmm. I just, the, the views, you know, the location, just everything. Yes. Um, and we had tried to purchase land in two different areas, but mm -hmm. ultimately, I was just kind of led to a brewery the, mm -hmm. the whole time. And after I saw the video um, and what you talked about, I, you know, I, I talked to talked to my wife and said, you know, we should give them a call mm -hmm. and um, see what this process, you know, see what the process is. And mm -hmm. so after we went out there and, and talked to you guys and everything just seemed to line up really mm -hmm. well yeah. with what we wanted to do and how quickly we wanted to, to start. Mm -hmm. It just kind of made sense, so we decided, you know, let's 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 do this. Let's let's buy land in a bird, mm -hmm. and so uh, that's what we did. Oh, so that was all she wrote. That so, how has wrote. the process been with Royal Kingdom Estates? You know what? It's been really easy and really smooth, which mm -hmm. is I, I always <clears throat> appreciate easy and smooth. Mm -hmm. So, when we reached out, uh, who we spoke with, my contact was directly with Gertrude. Gertrude. Oh, yes. shout out Gertrude. Shout out Getty. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so I spoke a lot with Gertrude, reached out to her. Mm -hmm. uh, like my husband said, we scheduled a, um, a viewing. Mm -hmm. And my question to her was, like, what is the process? Yeah. Uh, what is the expected turnaround time to receive our indentures, our site plan, and things like that? Mm -hmm. And um, she, I believe she said like a week is what yeah. she said. Mm. Uh, yeah, I believe she said a week, and mm. but it, it took less than ten days. I don't want to, you know, it. it wow. uh, she said a week or two weeks. Mm. Anyway, it was quick, mm -hmm. and I think less than ten days. She was calling us to the office to say that our paperwork was ready, mm. and so uh, <laughs> we've been here three months, and so. We were really eager to get started. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, we felt like we had been here. We had looked around and decided, like my husband was really fond of a brie. Mm -hmm. uh, at the time we had land somewhere else, so I really wasn't entertaining a brie, to be honest with you. I, but but the more we were here, I thought, well, okay, well, let's look at it. Mm -hmm. And he's right. So when we did, we, we looked at it and loved it. And again, the turnaround time to get our paperwork mm -hmm. was, was, was really fast. Mm -hmm. uh, it was able, uh, which enabled us to be able to get our project started mm -hmm. which is what we wanted to do is to get our project started wow. and so it was I, I found the process to be very easy mm -hmm. um I love the communication from the office mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. I can I can call or text Gertrude and she's right on it yeah. yes and if yeah. she doesn't know she gets me to a person who does mm -hmm. and so I, I appreciate the customer service oh, I do well that's I what do. Royal Kingdom Estates is yes. about is yes. about customer service yes. and just really you know making customers you know and clients mm -hmm. happy it's almost like a family yeah. and you buy land yes. it's, working, it's like you become a part of the family <laughs> you know so with with Gray City like you know in terms of you guys being there how do you see Gray City fitting into your lives I think it would fit very well. Like we always wanted to be far enough away from the city mm -hmm. where we can feel like we're in the country, you know, we raise our right. garden and things like that, but, but, but be close enough where mm -hmm. we can just go do some small things, go grocery shopping, go shopping, go for a date night or something like mm -hmm. that, but not be in the hustle and bustle mm -hmm. of the city the whole yeah. time. So yeah. Um, that's really what we wanted when we when we got here and, and chose land. We wanted to be so we feel like it's going to fit in really great. 
Oh, yeah. well, I'm excited yeah. for you guys. I really am. I'm so happy that you guys are planning on making Grace City your home. Yes. yes. Uh -huh, that's just <laughs> wonderful. And, you know, I can just sit here and talk to you guys for hours, okay? <laughs> I've been loving this conversation. It's been really, really wonderful. Mm, thank so, you. if anybody wants to get in touch with you, your YouTube channel, mm -hmm. how can they get in touch with you guys? So our YouTube channel is The Bodley's Journey to Ghana, the number two Ghana. So again, that's The Bodley's Journey to Ghana. So that's our YouTube channel. So we'd love it if you guys would check us out mm. and subscribe. <laughs> yes. Okay. Please go subscribe to their channel. Like right when this interview is done and this video is done, it is jam packed full of information. Mm. Just seeing their journey here. You guys give tips. Yes. And just really sharing your journey here as a couple. Yes. And I think that it's a wonderful channel. It Thank really is. Thank so you guys you, better tune in. <laughs> better tune in. Please tune in. But like I said, thank you so much for coming on the channel, both of you. Absolutely. It was an absolute honor and thank a pleasure. You. And thank you guys for tuning in. We love you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this information with others. And all of their information, including their YouTube channel, will be in the description box. So please <laughs> check them out. Until next time. Bye. 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 <laughs>